You've probably heard of both Streamlabs OBS and OBS Studio, but you're wondering to yourself, which one should I use? By the end of this video, you're gonna know which piece of software is gonna be best for you. So if that sounds good, drop a like on the video to help other streamers find this video. But first, a quick word from our sponsor. Own.tv is the best place to get all of your stream-related needs. They have everything from their own overlays to their own panels to their own alerts. They even have their own emote maker where you can personalize your own avatar and it'll generate a ton of different emote ideas for you that you can just drag and drop into your Twitch channel. My favorite thing about Own.TV are their complete packages. They have so many different packages that you could possibly choose from with so many different art styles to help fit whatever kind of stream aesthetic that you're going for. My favorite thing about these packages is that they're so easy to use and they come with everything that you'll need. And you can test everything that this package has before you even buy it. So if you want to help support the channel, feel free to use the link in the description down below. I just want to say that nothing is wrong with either piece of software. It really just comes down to your situation and your personal preference. So first I'm gonna go over all of the pros of Streamlabs OBS and then I'm gonna go over the pros of OBS Studio and at the very end I'm gonna wrap it up and then you can choose which piece of software better fits your situation and will be the best for you. Streamlabs OBS I believe is the more beginner friendly option because as soon as you start up it looks a lot cleaner, it looks a lot more welcoming and it also comes automatically with all of the bells and whistles, the overlays, the alerts, the plugins, the cloud bot, the chat bot, the chat room. It'll give you everything you need to get started without having to download from an external platform. While this being said, if we really go down to the bare bones, Streamlabs OBS does require just a little bit more CPU. So if you're using a low tier computer and the only way that you can stream is without all of the bells and whistles and you just wanna do just a normal stream, just your face in the game, then OBS Studio might be better for you. However, you can also change your settings in both of these pieces of software, but you can also go into the settings in Streamlabs OBS and make sure that it'll work with your computer regardless, even if you're streaming at 160p but I also have a whole video in the top right corner going over the best Streamlabs OBS settings so feel free to check that out but Streamlabs OBS always will have a special place in my heart because it has so much useful things right off the install base and basically it's an all-in-one package where you don't have to worry about leaving Streamlabs OBS to get anything that's part of the essential package of things that you would need to stream on Twitch one downside to Streamlabs OBS that I will say further along the road after you've been streaming for quite a while you might want to do some pretty crazy things with your streams and Streamlabs Streamlabs OBS might not be able to do that. It's going to block off your customization at a certain point just because of the integration and the coding and the hardware and all of that jazz that goes way over my head. But sometimes you'll notice some of the bigger streamers having these really crazy streams, all these crazy effects and everything going on. And they're most likely using OBS Studio because Streamlabs OBS does give you some limitation on what kind of customization you can do when it comes to all the crazy things with the alerts, overlays, and all that other stuff. But keep in mind though, at the end of the day, your content is what matters. It's just you, the game, or whatever you're streaming, and whatever your chat likes. So however you choose to entertain your chat, whatever they like, usually it's not all of the crazy bells and whistles that they really care about. That's not going to make your stream better per se. You really have to take a step back and notice that whatever piece of software that you use, it really doesn't matter because it's your content that matters at the end of the day. So moving on to OBS Studio, as soon as you install it, you'll notice that it's not really as user-friendly as Streamlabs OBS in terms of colors. You know, it's just a standard black and white and gray, and it doesn't come with all of the bells and whistles that Streamlabs OBS does. You're going to have to go and download these things through plugins and you'll have to go into the tools option into OBS and then you're going to have to manually install each and everything that you would like to add. But that being said, it doesn't require as much CPU because it doesn't have all of those bells and whistles like the alerts, the overlays, everything that was built into Streamlabs OBS like the cloud bot and the store and everything else. So if you're really trying to conserve CPU and you just want you in the game, then OBS Studio is a great option for you. So I mentioned that you're going to have to download tools and plugins and with that comes a lot of additional knowledge and research that you're gonna have to go through you're gonna have to find where to get these tools where to get these plugins how to import them how to install them and sometimes that can be a headache especially when things decide not to work so you're gonna have to go and do a lot of troubleshooting in order to get things back to where you want them to be I'm not saying that's a bad thing by any means I'm just saying if you're a beginner and you're trying to do all of this stuff it can be a huge roadblock for you but it does give you a lot of extra freedom because you can do crazy things with the customization and third-party tools that you can't do in Streamlabs OBS I also just wanted to mention that there's been some research done showing that if you use the same plugins in Streamlabs OBS and the same plugins in OBS Studio, there's really not that big of a CPU usage difference. So if that's one of your huge concerns of CPU usage and you want to use both the things on both pieces of software, that might be something to think about. I've been streaming on Twitch for roughly four years now, and personally, I've been using Streamlabs OBS Studio this whole time. I've thought about branching over to OBS Studio, but personally, I really like having everything all in one. I'm really basic. I don't want to go 
and do these crazy things. While it would be nice, it's really the content that matters. And I know having all these extra bells and whistles personally isn't going to help my stream that much. While it would look nicer and a little bit fancier, I don't think it's worth my personal time investment. However, it could be worth it for you. So while both Streamlabs OBS and OBS Studio are both great options, I would recommend Streamlabs OBS for anyone that's just started in the streaming world because it's an all-in-one package. You don't have to do any additional downloads to do anything crazy. It's all built into this piece of software. So you're going to be okay because you're going to be set up with your little mini feed. You can hook up your donations. You can hook up your alerts, overlay, literally anything that you pretty much want to do. You're going to be able to do just from the Streamlabs OBS software without having to do anything additional outside of the software. However, there are two types of people that I would not recommend Streamlabs OBS to. And for these people, I would recommend OBS Studio. And those people are the ones that don't have a very good computer and they don't want to have the extra CPU usage and it just wants to be them in the screen, I would recommend OBS Studio. As well as the other group, people that have been streaming on here for a while and they feel limited by Streamlabs OBS and they want to do some of these crazy things with their stream and go through third parties and get tools and plugins, then I'd recommend OBS Studio. There's really no wrong choice here, but the best software for you is going to depend on your situation at the end of the day. So don't listen to any of those crazy saying, well, OBS Studio is way better than Streamlabs OBS. It doesn't matter. At the end of the day, it comes down to what content you're making and what your chat and audience actually enjoy. As long as you have a crisp and clear stream, you got nice audio, and you just have a fun and entertaining stream that people like, that's all that matters. Who cares about the software that you use in order to make your content? It's about the content that you create at the end of the day. So just have fun with it. I want to thank all my patrons for helping make these YouTube videos possible. If you want to become a patron, check the description down below. Otherwise, feel free to check out the rest of the videos on the channel. My name's Cody, and I'll see you in the next one.